We are project group seven, and this is the design challenge for module six. Mr. Wonka is married to his candy business and derives no greater pleasure than seeing young children, middle-aged adults, and the elderly happily consume his creations. He knows his time as CEO is coming to an end and needs to find a suitable replacement, someone that will provide the same passion and commitment in serving the sugar tooth community. Mr. Wonka is full of imagination and is a pioneer in the industry, bringing unique products to the marketplace. Through his grand vision, Mr. Wonka has been a supporter in task differentiation, whereby each of his employees have specialized skills, which he believes adds undeniable value to the product. He also believes in a decentralized organization as he values the input of each employee. He sees Charlie Bucket as a perfect fit to take over candy operations as Charlie's visions match those of Mr. Wonka. Charlie is the most reasonable thinking of the group. He believes in the importance of designing specialized candy to be enjoyed by all. Every single Wonka bar will be dressed to perfection and taste as if it was created solely for the individual consumer. Attention to detail is key for Charlie just as it is for Mr. Wonka. Augustus has a love for product testing, as he has a keen sense of taste. He is gluttonous not only with the candy he consumes, but with his desire to fill his pockets with money as well. Augustus believes in a network structure, as outsourcing work will yield to greater monetary gain because of cheaper labor. He believes that there should be numerous factories producing candy around the clock. Mr. Wonka is vehemently against this, but that will not stop Augustus from attempting to topple the chocolate empire his own way. Mike is always questioning Mr. Wonka as he finds several faults within the organization. Mike sees himself as a maverick, ready to take over the factory and employ his own belief in a centralized organization. Decision-making is paramount to Mike, and he wants the final say. He'll have it no other way. When he gets a hold of this candy empire, things are going to change, and things are going to change quickly. Veruca is rich and bossy. She is less interested in the potential profit to be seen, and more interested in acquiring trade secrets and taking a global approach. She wants to be the face of Wonka, and rename the company entirely. She will stop at nothing to reach her goals. Violet is fiercely competitive, and will do whatever it takes to be number one. She is a firm believer in formalization, and she likes a well-defined line of authority. She also prefers a flat organization structure, as her word should reach everyone as quick as possible. She wants her competitive spirit to be embraced by all on her quest to the top.